There are thousands of wells located throughout Alberta. You'll find them in farmer's fields, forested lands, and cities and towns. After a number of years, and sometimes even decades, oil and gas wells become inactive because the majority of recoverable resources has been depleted. Over the last 20 years, the number of inactive wells in the province has more than doubled to over 85,000. Until an inactive well has been properly abandoned and the reclamation has occurred, the land cannot be used for alternative purposes. A farmer cannot grow crops on that land. A city can't develop into that particular area. An active well needs to be suspended after 12 months. Suspending a well can include installing barriers, such as cement plugs inside the well to ensure no fluid may come to surface. Licensees are required to remove handles from valves and chain up the wellhead to make sure that no one can turn the well back on. They are also required to inspect the well based on a scheduled frequency of inspections based on the well type. After a well is suspended, the licensee may choose to put the well back on production by removing the downhole plugs and reinstalling the wellhead. A few years back, the AR realized that we had a number of inactive wells that were not meeting our suspension requirements. So the AR designed and implemented the Inactive Well Compliance Program, which was designed to bring all of the non-compliant inactive wells into compliance over a five-year term. Under the Inactive Well Compliance Program, companies have until April 1st, 2020 to bring all of their non-compliant inactive wells into compliance. Currently, 83% of all inactive wells are now compliant with suspension requirements. There are three options to bring an inactive well into compliance. You can put the well back on production, suspend the well, abandon the well, which is plugging it down hole and taking the well out of surface safely. Wells can remain suspended until a company decides that it's no longer needed for injection or production and it can be permanently plugged and abandoned. Abandoning wells has its own set of requirements that companies must meet and it's the step prior to remediating and reclaiming the well site. 